If you ever whip up a tasty recovery shake before or after a workout, you probably add a scoop or two of whey protein. Have you ever wondered how that protein is created? Tomorrow's World Today visited Glambia's Cheese Innovation Center to explore how protein comes from cheese. The simple yet innovative process all started thousands of years ago by accident. In 5500 BC, when Polish farmers were making goat's milk into cheese, they created a secondary product called whey. Today, cheese innovation centers like the one in Twin Falls, Idaho, take specific fractions of whey protein and create a supplement for many different products, like shake powder and breakfast bars. While looking at a vat, you can see the separation of proteins. The actual cheese curds are the casein that has been separated out of the milk. The liquid, which has a yellowish color to it, is the whey protein. As the fat continues to form and the pH continues to drop in the fermentation process, the whey is drained off and separates the curd from the whey. Raw whey is the input at the whey processing plant. The membranes are used to concentrate and diffractionate the whey protein. Throughout the process, one liquid goes in and two liquids come out. The whey protein is concentrated in the raw whey to get the WPI liquid. Once concentrated, the whey protein isolates and is transformed into a usable form for the consumer. In many cases, the liquid is dried into a WPI powder. It's incredible how much of a difference one small secondary product from cow's milk can help in building muscles and improving health. For more information about innovation shaping our world, visit tomorrowsworldtoday.com.